Let's take the next few minutes and go over the technical specifications of the Edison electric truck, the L750 here. This is the first production truck that Edison Motors is currently building in its shop right now. First, we'll start off with these E-axles. So there's three drive axles on the truck. Each axle is 250 kilowatts, which gives you 750 kilowatts of power, which works out to just over 1,000 horsepower. The output torque, the torque that you're putting out to the wheels, is 102,000 foot-pounds of torque. They're 550 volts, and the gross axle weighting is 39 tons, or 86,000 pounds. That's how much weight these axles can take on them. Which means the total power and torque of this electric truck is over double a normal diesel truck. Next, let's have a look at the batteries. It, the tri-drive version for the diesel electric will have 280 kilowatt hours worth of batteries. The electric only will have 600 kilowatt hours. That battery consists of eight individual 35 kilowatt hour batteries that we place inside the frame rails and under the cab in order to provide that power. Now for the diesel electric, we got to look at that generator. We went with a Cat C9 Industrial. That's this guy in our shop right here that we're going to be putting in next. But it provides 350 kilowatts of power or about 450 horsepower to maintain those batteries. Now the total fuel consumption of that motor at 100% load is 60 liters per hour. But remember, it recharges the batteries in about 40 minutes, so you're really only running that half the time. So you're burning about 30 liters per hour with this C9. And you get about two hours of drive time off the batteries, which means you're burning about 15 liters per hour. If you run that generator to recharge it for half an hour, and then you get two hours of driving, works out to, yes, about 15 liters per hour runtime. Obviously, we're going with the standard 100 grade steel. So we can do these frame rails out of grade 100 steel, which is the strongest one you can get. We can do up to 48 feet long, and we can do quarter inch, up to half inch, double or triple flamed if you want. That's what our supplier can provide. For rear suspension, we went with Hendrickson. What I like about the Hendrickson, the torsion arms are located independently on the outside to let that axle move up and down independently on each side. I like it a lot more than the New Way AYZ because it's got this wishbone thing in the middle. It holds the center of your diff, and if you'll notice, it can't move up inside because that wishbone is going to hold its seat, which isn't great off-road. In my opinion, the Hendrickson Primax just gives you a lot better road contact with those independent torsion arms. And because we went with Hendrickson on the rear, our front axles are also the Hendrickson ones. So some of the cool optional features, the driver's seat is a swivel seat, so a thing like a bed truck where you're looking out the rear window a lot, you can just swivel the seat to reduce that neck strain. And in with that, we have a joystick that can come in with the driver's seat that's like running a loader or an excavator that's built into the truck and not an afterthought. And of course, we'll put in a full LED work light package and can put an exterior cameras on if need be. So there you go. We're not hiding anything. That is the full spec of the Edison production truck and everything we're putting in it.